This is not a robot invasion. Just Kiwi robots roaming Berkeley, waiting for their next delivery. We have little robots that roam the sidewalk and deliver food to your neighborhood. Instead of doing two or three deliveries an hour, as the industry does today, we're able to do six to eight. Using a phone app, customers order food from a local restaurant, which a human courier picks up and brings to a nearby robot, which rolls the meal the rest of the way to a waiting customer. There's still a novelty on the street, but these Kiwi robots come equipped with six cameras and sensors to measure distance, avoid obstacles, and still deliver their orders on time. And this visualizer over here on the top left is actually showing what the autopilot is actually looking at. Um, so it can detect things like uh, cars moving past or the, the feet of the people or the scooter. The robots go back to Kiwi headquarters each night where they are tweaked for optimum performance. One thing that's happening right now is that the autopilot is actually uh, looking at the shadows over here and thinking that the shadows are like a new wall or a border and it's trying to avoid that and we don't want that to happen. And if the camera system fails, another sensor stops the robot in time. The other fail safe is a team in Colombia which monitors the robots every step. But it's basically a bunch of people who are sitting around with joysticks like pretty much playing video games except in real life. You know, they're actually like making sure the robot doesn't fall off the side of the street or like bump it to someone. Yeah. It may seem like a lot of effort just to deliver a burrito in under 35 minutes. But each delivery brings us closer to a future where robots are more than just a cute novelty. Michelle Quinn, VOA News, Berkeley, California.